Welcome back to the fifth event of the World Cup as we're greeted by this short but intense level by Rope. And as always, we'll start watching from the 100th replay and then we'll work our way up and watch faster and faster runs as we're getting into those top positions. And as always, we had many finishers this event, but we're zooming past them into the 100th place where we're finding Rawl at 33.22. And here you have Rawl's replay. Starting out avoiding these polygons on the way down and then you get into this uphill and you do lose a lot of traction but he comes down and goes beneath this brick polygon here coming out to this first apple which is down here which is a gravity up apple so that's how you make your way out of this uh, like hole but grabbing the gravity down here as well gets a nice kick to get out to this hang and then jumping doing a long jump to get straight into this hole down here and coming out for the last apple that is inside this loop here and then it's just straight to the flower. Let's see, can he make the long jump? He can and grabs the flower at 33.22. So as you can tell, it's a fairly straightforward level. You're starting out here up to the left. You have the three apples to grab, one of which is gravity up. The other one is gravity down. And in the beginning, you have to avoid these polygons or maybe you can even use them to get some speed. And in the replay, we saw Roll coming down here and going beneath the brick polygon. But maybe it could be possible to do a long jump here instead, use the brick polygon to get straight down into the hole, which could be faster. But then after grabbing this gravity up apple, you fly up, you grab the gravity down somehow and then make your way out to the left. Roll did it beautifully with a hang on this triangle polygon here. Here, and then make your way out and then you just do the loop and use maybe the ceiling to kick down towards the flower. So I don't expect to see a multitude of different routes this level, but for sure we'll see tiny styles and tricks in different places to save time wherever it's possible. But with that, we'll jump straight into 50th place. Maybe we'll have some voted replays in between as well. But if not, 50th is where we'll go. We actually see MR here with two votes. We might check that one out unless there is one that is even more upvoted. But let's see. Coming down towards 50th place, we have... Lompe with a beautiful 2878. But before that, let's come back up. Let's check out MR's replay because we did see some votes for that one as well. And just so it happens, MR in 72nd place was the first one to break the 30 second barrier. So let's see how he could improve about three seconds on Rawls' time. And here we have them both. Let's put MR in the foreground and we'll follow him. And we see a little bit different kind of vaulting, but the same result, both avoiding those polygons in the beginning, but a beautiful, beautiful vaulting and a kick right on the corner by MR here so he can make the long jump actually make it up on top of this brick polygon like we were looking at just now and therefore he goes straight down for this gravity up apple and can save so much time on roll beautiful grabs the gravity down apple with a good push out towards the hang as well doing this long jump here swinging down into the to the tube the pipe and coming out grabbing the last apple here and then a nice push and can fly straight to the flower. And then we see Rawl coming in here a fairly bit later, but mostly all due to this uh, long jump and kick on the corner by MR. Beautiful style. And then of course in 50th place we have Lompe at 2878, a little bit more than a second faster than MR. And worth noticing here as well is maybe that Raven in 52nd place at 2881 probably didn't play too much this event or maybe Dot have completely the wrong style. But for now let's check out Lompe's 50th place run 2878. And here we have them both. This time we'll be following Lompe but keep MR in the background. Let's see different kinds of vaulting. And let's see he gets a nice push from the downward slope and that allows him to go for this long jump without the massive spinning but MR actually is catching up so it might not be that much faster but he does reach this apple sooner he does a nice bounce to get out here and grabbing the downwards apple oh and a nice beautiful kick from the very spike here and that allows him get, to get so much more speed out towards the left and then just comes in here for the drop down to the last or to the bottom part of the level and he's so far ahead of MR right now but was it all thanks to that kick from the spike? Let's see, the start was a little bit different and he came around here with more speed and managed to do a nice all the push so he can get a break push in the downward slope so he can keep the grip all the way in gas which allows him for this long jump but MR gets a good kick from that corner so he maybe has even more speed out here but then Lompe comes in and manages a beautiful bounce here on the wall so he can gas a little bit up and come around with the spin to get that nice push and yeah, as you can tell, MR is basically in the lead until uh, until Lompe gets this beautiful push and just straight down for the long jump 
beautiful style by Lompe at that gravity down apple. And with that, we'll jump into 30th place. Let's see if we have something else upvoted in between that we're gonna check out as well. We actually have Tomator here with two volts uh, at a 2039. We might be checking that one out. Let's see, in 30th place, we have Immo at 27.99 so Imu is breaking the 28 second barrier but before that we'll check out Tomothor's run at 28.39 and compare that to Lompe's run that we just saw now Tomothor is shirtless unfortunately but we'll be following him in the foreground and let's check it out let's see same kind of vault combinations it looks like but oh very beautiful bounce-ish kind of style there hadn't thought of that myself and he does come out in front of Lompe here coming down let's see will he bounce as well no he pushes out here as well but will he go for this insane kick? Yeah, beautiful push from that spike with so much speed out to the left. And coming in, and this lead that he has was pretty much from the start, I think. Let's see, coming around, and I don't think Lompe will catch him now. Well, we know he won't. But let's see, grabbing the flower, but let's check out this start again. So a little bit different kind of combinations. He goes for two quick olive vaults, it looked like. But then this beautiful just break. It's not really a bounce, but it just breaks to get like that small redirection of his momentum. To come out and with two beautiful olive vaults and a nice push with break to come down here. The lead is not as big as it is towards the end, but I think just this push out here with a little bit of gas on that wall as well. And a nice push from the spike. And he just keeps this lead all the way and maybe increases it just a tiny bit. But a beautiful style by Tomator. And really, really nice start there. I hadn't thought about that myself. And from Tomator's 28.39, we'll be jumping down to Imus 27.99. Let's see how a 27 run looks. And we have Imu in the black shirt, Tomato in the default shirt. Let's put Imu in the foreground and let's see. Will he do the same kind of bounce start or no, it is the auto push as well with break push in the slope. Not sure which is faster. Look, they're pretty much identical, but actually maybe the CMR start is a little bit faster by Tomato. But let's see, Imu with a beautiful turn here on the wall can grab the apple and goes below the polygon. Let's see, he's so much faster, but then Tomato will have more speed coming down. But of course, we already know that Imu will win, but that was such a beautiful style. Let's check that out again as Imu grabs the flower before Tomator. Again, the start we've seen before, it's the Ola push with the break push. And yeah, it's pretty much impossible to tell which is faster because Imu has just a little bit better push there. But uh, yeah, you can tell they're pretty much neck and neck. But then Imu breaking and coming up, not using the, the left hand wall there, but gassing here, grabbing the apple from below and gassing on the bottom side of this hang and just making this long jump must be so hard to not hit your back wheel there that looks like such a hard style to pull off but it does it beautifully and yeah for sure that is what gives him the win over tomato in this run really beautiful stuff by Imo and team man and from Imo's 30th place we'll make our way down to 10th place and along the way we see dcem we see pocho from team ea jsim ismo mats from time riders we have Ilka, who we were checking out last event. Homsa Astral as well. Mikkel coming back here. And then uh, no 20th spot because we have a shared 19th place by Barry P and Sick Mambo. I came in in 18th place. We have TM Sifias already with a vote as well. Then we have Yali. We have T Technique. We have Smibu. I wasn't sure last event because he, his name was just Technique there, but. T technique is how I know him, so that makes sense to see that now. We have Smeebu, we have Sveiner who keeps going out strong in this cup. Mira in 11th place at 27 0, 0. So we will be breaking that second barrier in 10th place where we have Hosp at 26.89. But before we check out Hosp's run, let's check out Sifias' 27.44 as well and compare that to Emo. And here we have them. Will we see Sifias doing the same kind of crazy style that Imo did going below the hang? Or will he do something different? Let's find out as we follow Sifias here. Let's see, a little bit different kind of vaulting. And Sifias gets this kind of really nice break bounce on the downward slope. And he already has a big lead over Imo actually from that start. And let's see, coming out for the apple. And he does the same kind of turn here with gas. And will go, he doesn't go below, he does a front wheel hang on, the, on that hang part where Imo went below. And he just is so far ahead but i think most of that came from the start but he did a really different kind of mid as well we'll have to check that out let's see here cpias does a little bit different kind of start he gets a really strong push from the bottom of this polygon here and you can tell it comes out so far ahead and that allows him to get a good like kind of bounce redirection from this downward slope i don't know if i should call this a bounce but it's some kind of like break uh, bounce ish thing but comes around here and he already has such a big lead over Imo from doing that style. 
And let's see, Imo is maybe catching up a tiny bit from a better break push. But then they do the same kind of turn here, but then let's see here. Sifias grabs the apple with the front wheel just barely and comes in and manages to get the back wheel here. Like his front wheel if he were looking towards the left. And then manages, he doesn't go for a long jump after that. He comes down to the same polygon here, to the brick polygon like Imo is driving on. And he manages to avoid this spike and just comes down and just saves so much time by using that hang instead of going below it. And also from that start, he saves a lot of time. So a really impressive style by Sifias. And is this going to be the overall Team MIE style? I guess we're going to find out when we're getting into the top positions. But let's move on to the 10th place where we had Hosp. And let's check out his 2689, which is a huge improvement on Sifias' 2744. Hosp in the green shirt, Sifias in orange. Let's follow Hosp. Let's see, will it do the same kind of, yeah, beautiful push, but also the auto vault here. Such a fast style by Hosp. And let's see, but they're still neck and neck, even with different starts. Let's see the turn here. Hosp gets a bounce even here and grabs the apple with the head. And he's way behind Sifias, but he manages the long jump, which gives him more speed for the end. So he actually passes Sifias by the end and from using that hang. But let's see, but these replays are getting so fast now, it's hard to keep up with what's happening. But they both get the same kind of push here, but Hosp manages to get this all of old push here with the brake push in the upward slope where Sifias goes for the brake bounce and he gets a nice small kick from the corner as well but then turns out they're exactly equal here both coming in and Hosp even getting a bounce where Sifias goes to gas on the wall here Hosp grabs with the head instead and comes out for the hang and Sifias is way ahead but cannot go for this long jump that Hosp manages so Hosp can just drop straight down and has so much more speed and that allows him to get to this third apple faster and get to the flower faster as well. So really crazy stuff and it's so hard to know which style is faster. But even with different start styles they seem pretty equal so it looks like everything is coming down to that middle part. But on the way we have AKB in ninth place. Really nice to see him in the top 10 again. We have Tali here from Team MIE. We have Iltu coming in for EF. And let's see. Yeah, will we reach 25? I think we will looking at this. Yen, beautiful finish at 26.25. And in fifth place, we have JT at 26.12. A really strong finish by JT. And in just five positions, we've gone to 26.12 from 26.89, which is crazy for a level like this. Now, JT recently got a custom shirt, but I don't know if it's just on my end that it looks a little bit bugged. I might have to check that out at a later point. But for now, we have JT in the interesting shirt and Hosp in the green. And let's see how JT could save almost a full second on Hosp's time. Let's see, coming around here, also does the auto push, but Hosp has a much faster start actually, because he got that push from the floating polygons as well. So where can JT actually pass Hosp and then save a second? Let's see, coming around here, grabbing with the front wheel instead of a head, and manages this front wheel hang and the long jump. Perfect combination of the two styles that were so fast in the middle. And just blasts past Hosp and grabs flowers so far ahead. Even though he had a slower start. Look at Hosp getting the push here below the polygon. Boom. And coming down with so much speed. And such a fast olive vault here. And the kick from the corner. So Hosp again is in the lead here in the beginning. But then JT just comes here. They have the same kind of mid. Hosp actually has a bounce but... Hosp grabbing with the head, JT grabbing with the front wheel here, even though the apple is gone. But that allows JT to get his back wheel in here on the bottom side of the hang. And then he can drive on top of it while falling down a little bit. But he just manages to get that second push to get the height. So he can make it down straight into the tube here and just so far ahead of Hosp. And now I guess we have a glimpse into the Team Dot style. We have seen Tully from Team MIE here as well. But let's see who else we have in the top 5. At least in 4th position, we have Mielts. Mielts as strong as ever. 4th position with a beautiful 25.93. Improving 0.2 seconds on JT's time. Let's follow Mielts in the first replay in the 25 second territories. Let's see. Gets a nice push and does the break push here. Not the auto push in the beginning. Is this a faster style? Let's see. Coming around here. And then down, grabbing the gravity up apple with a beautiful strong bounce and front wheel apple grab. Just such a clean run and barely avoids the head from that corner as well. Such a beautiful, so clean run by Mielts. I can't believe this is not much faster than what we've seen recently. Let's see, again. Comes around here, gets the strong push here. Goes for this break bounce here to just transfer that momentum out towards the right. And so far has a tiny lead on JT. 
but uh, not that much. But this bounce was just so strong. Boom. And comes out here, grabs with the front wheel, and comes in. Beautiful. Can gas on that polygon, and look how he avoids this by just turning really quickly. And coming around here, and then just keeps the lead all the way out towards the end. Great run by me, else. And let's see, in third place, we have... Audi. At 25.91. This time, just two hundredths of a second faster than me, else. Let's check out the two hundredths of a second difference here. Let's see, both of them vaulting here. Identical vaulting so far, both going for the brake turn there. And coming around here, a little bit different kind of vaulting. And that allows Mielz actually to get into the lead here. And let's see, Mielz goes for the bounce. Audi drives on the wall, both grabbing with the front wheel, both going for this hang style. But Audi has a tiny bit more speed because he drove on that wall over there. But he, so far he didn't pass Mielz, but he's passing just now by the third apple. And just before the flower, he manages to gain the win over Mielz. And let's see, both pretty much identical starts, a little bit different kind of vaulting. But the main difference is here, Mielz goes for this insane bounce that just looks so clean. But Aldi manages here to gas all the way so he can gain a little bit more speed as he grabs his apple. So Mielz was more straight on towards this hang with the bounce, but Aldi could gas a little bit so you can just tell that he has a little bit higher speed here. And he uses that tiny bit more speed all the way through out here to just barely pass Mielz in the end and grab the flower first. Really great run by Aldi and a well-deserved third place for Team MIE. But let's see who was able to beat him, because in second place, we have Zero. Zero not getting first place in this event, but beating Audi by 0 0.25, 26 seconds actually. And let's see, Zero versus Audi, Team Dot versus Team MIE. Let's see, is it gonna be the same break here? No, it is the Aldo push actually. No idea which one of these styles is faster. Look, they're pretty much identical anyway. Zero maybe has a tiny bit more speed and will grab this apple a tiny bit before. Both of them doing the gassing here, grabbing with the front wheel, coming in below and driving on top. And Zero just maybe a tiny bit more clean execution, but no clear place where he actually is saving this time on Aldi. But grabbing the flower well ahead of him. Let's see. Actually, the start is very different. Zero does the auto push, whereas Aldi does the brake bounce. But in the end, they end up pretty much in the same position. And we've seen this time and time again, both of these styles being used interchangeably. But let's see, both of them grabbing the apple here. Zero's apple time, 11.81. Audi's apple time, 11.98. So basically, yeah, almost a 0.2 difference here, actually, already. But Zero grabbing the third apple at uh, 14.16. Audi grabbing the third apple at 14.24. Not that big of a difference. But maybe Zero has a little bit more clean. It looks like he has a bit more speed coming out of this drop here. But yeah, he's like driving slowly away from Audi here. But it, there is nothing really clear. It's just a tiny bit more clean execution of the style. But uh, yeah, just great run by Zero, but great run by Audi as well. So the bronze medal goes to Audi. The silver medal goes to Zero. And I think we might be able to guess who is in first position. Because there's one player we still haven't seen. Another Team Dot player. But let's see, in first place, we have... Finman. At 25.50. Such an insane time and such an insane showing by Finman. Zero and Finman just keep trading first and second places in this cup. It's really great to see. But a beautiful time. I couldn't even fathom how to get 2550 in this level. But let's check out Finman and Team Dot's winning run. And to make it interesting, let's merge it against Audi as well. Just to see if this might help us show which start style is faster. And here you have them. Let's actually follow Finman in slow motion here because they did these different starts. Audi does this like fast all and beautiful push on the bottom. Finman gets a tiny push as well, but Audi goes for the break bounce. Finman goes for the all of all push. And let's see, Audi a little bit in front, but Finman has more speed. And coming in here towards the brick polygon, they are still neck and neck. It's crazy how those styles can be equally fast. But let's see, both gassing on the wall, grabbing here, and Finman just beautiful. So fast, so clean. Runs ahead of Audi and just brings it all the way home to the flower and just keeps extending his lead all the way throughout. And again, the starts really, really different, but for some reason, exactly equally fast. I don't get it. But coming around here, Finman has a little bit more speed, but then yeah, grabbing this apple, Finman grabbing it at 11.84, Aldi at 11.98. Again, the difference is not that big, but coming in here, it's just knowing when to break here to be able to just barely grab this apple such a crazy style 
and then coming around here and trying to get as much gassing as you can on this polygon as late jump here as you can so you can go straight down into this hole and yeah just beautiful style beautiful run by finman team dot also beautiful by Audi and team mie we see sifia saying that with the team mie style and the like break start instead of the all push 11.5 apple times were possible and we see actually that tully from team mie had one of those really fast starts so a merge between tully and finman should be revealing which start was the fastest one and let's see tully here going for the break bounce finman going for the all push and yeah so far he has a lead that we've seen before but yeah this time he just extends it so far and he grabs that apple at 11.58. Beautiful. Really, really nice start by Tully. But then he loses that lead actually here in the middle, which was like so hard. That whole middle part, the drop part, this level was just a really, really tricky level to get a good style. But a beautiful start. And I guess this is the answer. Team MA style was the fastest. But yeah, you have to finish the entire level in order to win. And Tully, unfortunately, got a little bit stuck here and did not beat Finman or Team Dot in this case. And with that, we see Finman climbing back into a shared first position with Zero, if we include skips. Without them, Zero still has a tiny lead, but still it's mainly a Team Dot and MIE domination of the top 10. But we do have Mielt staying strong in fourth position, and we have AKB making up that 10th position as well. So let's see what can happen going forward in the cup. And as always, to finish the video, we have a couple of SL runs. Again, these are driven by Sifas. He seems to be the one who makes the most of them. Let's see. It's the Team MIE start, of course. Coming around here. I don't know what's going to happen in this. I just know it's going to be like a crazy replay. Let's see. Grabbing the Gravity up Apple. Coming down. Grabbing this one as well. And is he going to do this pipe? Is this possible? <laughs> the craziest V-Sync pipe you can imagine. <laughs> and yeah, it's not even faster than doing the normal style. But he's coming in here at like 29 something but that is just crazy you have to play like at a really low fps to allow your wheels to enter there and yeah this can only be done us of course but a beautiful style nonetheless and then we have the second sl replay as well again by cfias let's see it's still the team mae start so no uh, no surprises yet but a little bit different here gases in the ceiling as well comes up here to the top of it is he gonna grab the gravity down apple first? He is. And then going for the gravity up. And, and still. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. How is that even possible? Let's see. How is he gonna grab the last apple? Can he even do that? Yeah, I guess. Okay, Brutal Vault to come into the loop here. This is just crazy stuff that this is even possible. And manages to grab this apple here. And then he's gonna be able to push down to the flower, I guess. Or will he? What? Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, he can even use that thing in the corner. Let's see this again. This was, this was just so much fun. Comes in here for like no speed, but is able to use like some V-Sync breaking to get out here. Crazy. And then even able to use the bush here in the corner just so he can get up to the flower. Really beautiful stuff by CPS. And a really nice event by Rope. I know for some people this middle part was just too random. But I guess as long as you weren't going for like top 10 position, it was a pretty fun level. But I agree that this part here was not the easiest to get a consistent run on. But it's over now and we're looking forward to the next event which is also made by Rope. So go play that event and then I'll see you here in the next video. Thanks for watching.